Hello everyone, let's solve another Laplace transform question. So in this uh, problem we need to show that Laplace of sin at is equal to a upon s square plus a square. So we know that uh, the Laplace of ft is equals to 0 to infinity e power minus st into ft dt we know this now we need to find laplace of sin at so this will be equal to 0 to infinity e power minus st in place of ft we will have sin at dt. Now we know one formula that uh, e power ax sin bx dx equals to this is uh, the standard this is a e power ax divided by a square plus b square a sin since here is sin so sin bx minus b cos bx now we need to write this for t we can write e power a t sin b t dt equals to e power a t a square plus b square a sin b t minus b cos b t. Now we need to make some more changes for this particular question. We will follow this first of all. Now also while following this we will keep in mind that in place of a we have minus s and also in place of b we have a. So, we will keep it in mind. This formula we will use. So, when we have a, we will have minus s. When we have b, we will have a. Denge. So, let us uh, use this formula. So, Laplace of sin at is 0 to infinity e power minus st sin at dt which in turn this integration is equal to e power now in place of a we have minus s so e power minus st divided by in place of b in place of a we have minus s so minus s whole square is s square in place of b we have a so plus a square in bracket we have a that means minus s sin bt that means sin at minus b will be changed by a cos at is it clear cos bt so b will be replaced by a and a will be replaced by minus s now this is from 0 to infinity now we can take 1 upon s square plus a square out we will be left with e power minus st minus s sin at minus a cos at now what we can do is take minus sign also out. Now we can put the limits. So this is minus 1 upon s square plus a square. Now if we put infinity. We will get e power. Minus infinity it will become. Because uh, minus s minus uh, infinity into s is minus infinity s sine this will become infinity 
plus a cos if we put infinity in place of t this will become infinity now this was the upper limit minus lower limit this is 0 so this will become e power 0 minus 0 and 0 are the same thing so e power 0 now if we put 0 here you will get s sine of 0 plus a cos of 0 Now just some more simplification. E power minus infinity is 1 upon e power infinity. And e power infinity is a very big quantity. So 1 upon very big quantity will give you 0. So this entire term becomes 0. E power minus infinity is 1 upon e power infinity. And 1 upon very big quantity is 0. Now this term becomes 0. Now here e power 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0, so first term becomes 0 and cos 0 is 1, so second term becomes plus of a. Okay. Now from here you are getting only minus a, minus a multiplied by minus 1 is a divided by s square plus a square. So finally what we are getting is Laplace of sin a t equals to a divided by s square plus a square. So I hope you understood this problem. Laplace of sin a t is s a divided by s square plus a square. Similarly you can try for cos also. For that I am giving you the formula that e power a x cos b x dx this equal to e power ax divided by a square plus b square now this time cos will come first so a cos bx minus b sine bx now you can use this formula and apply the same method to solve that particular laplace transformation problem also i hope you will be able to solve that if not let's see that in the next video